going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have Sundress with us, and he can say his name and what he does in the band. Uh, my name is Trevor. I'm the singer-songwriter for the band, Sundress. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So my first question, Trevor, how did you start with the band? How did you get your members? Um, so Sundress started as, like, a acoustic project for me, okay. actually. And um, I slowly kind of found people to play with, like... We got asked to play a house show, and I was just like, it'd be fun to have a drummer. and <laughs> Like and a full I, band. Then I realized, yeah, that we should make it a band. And um, it's kind of been a very co- collective thing where, like, I have a lot of friends that know our set, and it's kind of whoever can make the tour. Yeah, <laughs> like this tour, I'm playing guitar. Sometimes I just sing. Oh, cool. Um, just kind of depends on who we can get, you know, because <laughs> touring at this level is... It's tough, for yeah, sure. I can you, imagine. You gotta love it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I like that, you know, a lot of, kind of, you're obviously from Arizona. That's that's really neat that you have other people that know your set and kind of... Yeah, just, like, for sure. Like, it. we have uh, our other guitar player, Forrest. This is the first tour he hasn't done, but he's the other voice you hear on yeah. the songs, and he's really great. Um, he got a job that wouldn't let him take time off for the oh, first man. 90 days or something so we we do whatever we can to make tours happen and yeah so awesome awesome my next question is since you've done a bit of touring with this band what are some favorite venues you guys like to play at um our home base is a place called the rebel lounge in phoenix it's just our favorite place we sold it out last year with nominee cool and um yeah, um, I also, we love playing Philly, um, no specific venue really, but it's a, it's always a good city, I'm trying to think, um, another favorite is a spot called the Sidewinder in Austin, which actually okay. just closed, but um, we had some great shows there over the years, so. That's awesome, yeah. that's awesome. Next question, kind of the follow of venues, what was the last show that you went to, like attended? Um, I think the last show I went to was that uh, the Hawthorne Heights tour that's oh, happening cool. right now. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. How was that? It was cool. There was a lot of bands on that tour. Um, my favorite was probably Listener. Yeah. And that band yeah. is fucking awesome. That's awesome. I, like, they're mm-hmm. super good. And that, like you said, that lineup is so long. And, like, it's cool to hear Hawthorne Heights still doing their thing after yeah, like, yeah, so long. Yeah, yeah, you know? It's been forever. Awesome, yeah. awesome. My next question, Trevor, more specifically to your band, what are some of your musical influences? Um, my two favorite bands are Bright Eyes and Saves the Day, oh, which cool. are two completely different <laughs> bands. But um, I got into writing songs and doing acoustic stuff from listening to Bright Eyes, and um, just the way he puts words together is what made me want to play music, because it's... That kind of gave me that connection to like being able to make someone feel something yeah. with a song, because his his lyrics are like out of this world. So that's that's, cool. that's what really got me into it. But I also grew up on like a, a lot of old pop punk emo, like Saves the Day and American Football and Appleseed Cast stuff like that. I feel so. like I could notice then the the songs that you had put out with a nominee nominee um it just felt very much like i also feel like weezer like i mentioned oh really yeah the like weezer, in postcard kind yeah. of postcard <laughs> felt very weezer-esque and like you just definitely have that sort of indie vibe to it so i appreciate that as somebody who kind of listens to like a bunch of different things i mm-hmm. think it's you it's cool I enjoy it, so, you know, obviously. Cool, thanks, man. Um, but my next question is, you're on the road. Where are some bands that you've been jamming uh, while you've been on the road? Um, well, um, what comes to mind, because we were listening to it on the way here, was uh, I've been listening to a lot of Free Throw. Cool, um, yeah. really like that band. Um, our tour manager loves that song, The Metal by Zed. That, oh, okay, that pop yeah. song, so we play that at least once a day. Um, <laughs> it's pretty, you know, we listen to all sorts of stuff. <laughs> yeah. I could tell but, you're, j- you know, jumping from three throw to yeah, like Zed. Our drummer just jam. If he's driving, it's every time I die the whole time. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Next question, Trevor. Um, if there was a song that you could cover, what would it be? We've actually done a lot of covers. Okay. Um, 
Most recently at our home show, we covered Teenage Dirtbag. Oh, cool. The 90s song was yeah. just so fun. Um, I would really like to do the song Shoulder to the Wheel by Saves the Day. Cool. We haven't done that one. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, they are like one of those bands that I grew up listening to as well. So it's like, you know, I have I have a special place for Saves the Day. So Definitely. that would be wicked if you guys did that. <laughs> um, but next question, we had, you know, talked over Twitter uh, what are some of your favorite foods to eat? I know you mentioned one of them oh, <laughs> off camera, but yeah, I love to eat ramen on the road. That's probably my go-to. Um, we also really like just getting whatever the city's famous for. Got like, you, like a cheesesteak for Philly. Yeah, or like buffalo wings and buffalo and mm. any specific type of ramen, you know. I'm like I'm usually a spicy miso guy. Spicy miso, mm-hmm. I feel that. I got you. Next question, Trevor. If you could pick somebody to collaborate with, whether it be somebody to have on your record or a producer, who would you want to work with? Oh, man. I mean, I would love, like, like Chris Connolly or, or Max Bemis, um, Chris Caraba, any of the, oh. any of the greats. So <laughs> That was just yeah. those emo classics, you yeah. know, dashboard, <laughs> save, mm-hmm. say anything, all that. I, I, I like that. Um I feel like you and Chris Karabaku work very well together. I feel like you, your voices kind of mesh very well. So who knows? Thanks, Chris Karabaku is watching this, you know? I actually uh, met him last year. Oh, cool. So. Uh, at a show, or was he just what was going yeah, on? Yeah, he, long story short, he heard the band. Oh, cool. And That's liked sick. it, and he had me come up at their show in Phoenix and play a Sundress song acoustic. Oh, sick. And it was terrifying but <laughs> amazing and we, we've stayed in contact a little bit since that's cool very nice guy maybe maybe something in the future that'd yeah. be really cool um but next question trevor you said you do vocals you also play guitar uh what was another musical instrument that you just would like to get like super good at i never touched a piano and i feel like that would help <laughs> me write songs a lot better if i knew how to play that that would be mm-hmm. cool I feel like that's like a lot of like, especially like singer songwriter, like focused driven people. They always go for that piano because I think it just works with what you're going for. Yeah. 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 For sure. Awesome. Awesome. Next question, Trevor. My personal favorite, and I ask this every band. uh, If you could be a video game character, who would you be? Oh God, I'm not a huge video game guy personally, but I'd probably be someone in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. (laughs) <laughs> that was and, the one game I loved growing up. Any any specific skater you'd, you'd uh you'd probably take? Andrew Reynolds. Andrew yeah. Reynolds. Okay. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> Next question. Uh in your opinion, who puts on a great live show? Uh what comes to mind who I saw recently, uh the Wonder Years. They're, oh nice. They're okay. an amazing live band. Did you see them on the Sister Cities, I guess mm-hmm. tour? Yeah. Yeah, especially those new... I really like that record a lot, and the the new songs came off so well live. Um, well, a surprise for me, because, like, I had... Obviously, they are Philly natives, um, but I never really gave them too much of a listen, and then I listened to this newest record, and I'm, like, in love with the new yeah, new yeah, stuff, so... Definitely. I feel like that... Have you been... Are you a long-time fan of, like, The Wonder Years, or did you I kinda... really started loving them on the last two records. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of like didn't pay attention to pop punk for a while, and then <laughs> started again. But that new record, or No Closer to Heaven, yeah, like yeah. really shook me. Th- that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Next question. Sorry, can I go blow my nose? Yeah, go ahead. You got it. Like, Getting to you. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Trevor. My next question: If you could compile a dream tour, who'd be on it? Dream tour. I mean, like, not many are our best friends. Like, we we've already done two tours with them, but like, doing like a big scale tour with them would be really cool. Um, I'd love to do a tour with Saves the Day. Um, another one that I'd 
like I I love Bright Eyes so much. They're oh, my yeah. favorite favorite band, and Connor has another punk band called the Desaparecidos. Oh, that cool! I feel it would fit okay. a lot better. They're they have two records out, and they're both incredible. But it's like a side project of his. Um, and then probably like let's say like say anything saves the day dashboard sundress nominee. <laughs> oh, that's a great lineup. That's just like classic. 90s early 2000s emo so i i can get down with that for sure um favorite tv show favorite movie favorite tv show um it's between the office or shameless oh which okay. are two totally great. different shows but <laughs> i'm obsessed with both of them awesome um, and the movie that's a tough one for me um trying to think <laughs> i don't watch a lot of movies honestly um probably like i was a really artsy photography kid in high school and i loved um garden state oh that was one of my favorites so let's say that awesome yeah. awesome <laughs> zach braff man i love yeah. that guy um next question trevor if there was one album that you could bring with you on a desert island for the next 30 days what would it be uh Probably saves the day, stay what you are. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And then I want to ask about some of the stuff on the, the split you did with Nominee. Like, how'd that come about? Like, you know, what was the process behind that? Obviously, you've mentioned you're very good friends. You've done tours together. So what was that process like and things of that nature? Sure. Well, um, we both kind of hooked up with Mike at Outer Loop for management yes. around the same yeah. time. And... Um, we both were kind of recording a few songs to like like send around to labels and stuff like that and we ended up having we recorded we recorded so poetic a while back and then we (laughs) recorded the other two and we were kind of sitting on them and nominee had those two songs they were sitting on and we were like my i don't we always joked about he's like we're gonna like release a split and just tour together forever (laughs) you know and then um I don't know who came up with it, but once we started talking about it with Mike, he's like, yeah, like, because we're, they're two new bands, and they have a label, too, so they're like, we'll, we'll throw this out on a 7-inch and, like, get some new music out, because we, you know, we both released records, like, early last year, so okay. it's kind of nice to get some new music out, and uh, recording the songs was cool, because we weren't, like, planning them for a record, so we like made them all uniquely their own yeah you know absolutely and um but when you play all five of them together it it makes sense somehow so (laughs) yeah no that's what i felt too and i almost had had that sense like if they did a six track if they did like together if you guys were like in the same room that would be oh yeah no yeah that'd be amazing um and maybe future tense it might happen because you guys are so like tight-knit um but i do get the sort of like progression and i think you could tell like with so poetic it was just that much different from not in a bad way just it oh was yeah different yeah sound wise no we've so, never put like a punk beat like that in a song ever so that was really unique and i felt like to me and i'm not just saying that because you're here i think that it was really cool to kind of hear that from like kind of like almost soft to like more aggressive as mm-hmm. as the the ep kind of comes together yeah, and that was the first one we we really focused on um, like having forest sing more and like like split the chorus between both yeah. of us, which was that partly came up because I knew that I couldn't go from that part <laughs> into that high part <laughs> at the same time. But um, yeah, we, you know, Forrest has a really unique voice and it sounds really cool with our with mine. And so that was a thing that we'll probably experiment more with on the next record. Awesome, so. awesome. And lastly, Trevor, tell me about your band Sundressed, where they can find you at, and uh, anything coming up in the next couple months. Um, you can find us anywhere that you could find a band on the internet. Um, <laughs> we're on tour right now with Northbound. There's about a week and a half left. Um, we're headed to Ohio, Missouri, Indiana, Chicago, Oklahoma and back to Texas and then we're playing the Phoenix State of Warp Tour 
and then we're going on tour with Stick Up Kid on the West Coast. Oh, cool. So. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, go check out Sundressed. Uh, I did a review uh, with their split with nominees, so go give them both a listen. They're both great bands. Um, and if you enjoyed this interview, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, uh, and share. It goes a long way. And thanks to Trevor uh, for coming on, bud. No worries, man. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos. So definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us guys talk to you later deuces